Hi guys, this is Desiru Almeida, back for Visual Real Estate Developers. It's a lovely day here in Goa and amazing time to learn more about properties in Goa. So let's begin today's video. Today's video is basically, basically based on the 1 and 14 form. What is this 1 and 14 form that you hear about all the time for properties in Goa? In simple, look at, prop, look at the 1 and 14 form as a preliminary sheet that describes all the details of your respective uh, property that you are planning on purchasing or already owning. Now, how do you get to your respective 1 and 14 form? What exactly is described in the 1 and 14 form is what we are basically going to uh, be understanding today. So without much delay, let's begin. Clear walk walkthrough of the process of reaching to your respective 1 and 14 form for the property that you are interested in or you personally own. Basically, it's a very simple process. So let's begin with it. In Google, type 1 slash 14 uh, form. Goa, you will be shown the DSLR uh, platform that is a directorate of settlement and land record who basically maintains all forms of records and titles of every properties all over Goa. This link will be mentioned in uh, the description below so you can directly access it without much problem. Now, you got to know that 1 and 14 form is all for all forms of uh, rural uh, land and uh, form D is for all forms of uh, urban land. Now, if you want a basic understanding of whether you are 1 and 14 or form D, just you just need to know whether your respective under uh, under respective panchayat rule or whether you come under the municipality rule and just as that you will know whether you are under a respective 1 and 14 or for a form d now in this case we're only talking about in today's video we're only going to be talking about uh, the 1 and 14 form so let's go with that for example now let's just take our respective property is in bardes in uh, the location in the village of uh, bastora uh, with a survey number bearing a survey number of uh, 10 and a subdivision number 0 you enter the cash bar and you view your respective details. Now here as you can see you have been displayed with the 1 and 14 form for this respective uh, property. Now before I begin uh, this respective uh, in this respective uh, <coughs> walkthrough I'll, I'll mention that this respective uh, document is or this uh, the, this uh, pdf is only meant for the purpose of uh, information and it is not meant to be used in any form of uh, legal activity this is only meant for personal understanding or a personal uh, in, in, in interest but this cannot be used for any form of legal activity now let's begin uh, let, let, let me explain you the basics of a 1 in 14 form as you saw, you basically need to know to get to the 1 and 14 form, you need the taluka, you need your respective village, the survey number and the subdivision number and you will exactly reach to the 1 and 14 form for your respective property. These are the four things that you will basically require to reach to the property that you are in interest of. Now as you can see over here, this is this is the area which shows the cultivable area. In this case, there is not much, there is no cultivable area at all. The metrics are used in terms of uh, measuring the, the size of properties or in a 1 in 14 form is the hectares, arcs and square meters. So if you look at this over here, the grand total of the property. So here you have your cultivable land and here you have your cult uncultivable area which is pretty much most of the property. In this case the grand total comes down to 1750. This grand total is the actual size of the property that has been measured by, the res by a respective uh, government survey. Um, <clears throat> So as I said earlier, hectares, arcs and square meters. So in this case, the arcs is zero. Sorry, the hectares is zero, arcs is uh, 17 and 50 square meters. In total, it comes down to 17.50. In simple, you can also look at it as 1750 square meters. Here you will have the name of the occupant. In this case, this is a comunidad or a government owned property. The respective village comunidad owns this respective property. Now, what you need to sh make sure is that when you see the, this, uh, this, re this region, this basically spells out the current legal owners who have been registered against the respective property. In this case, a communal property, communal properties cannot be sold or purchased legally, of course, at least not. And uh, in the other cases, you would have a person's name or a family, four to five uh, occupants or even more and if the case arises. And in this case, uh, what you need to make sure is that the respective uh, mutation numbers are checked. A lot of the times a person purchases a property and their lawyers or they themselves are reluctant to actually update the 1 and 14 form with the mutation process that is to remove the previous owners and only update their respective name to the 1 and 14 form. So always check whether the previous owners are still whether in this respective form because we have been coming across a lot of the case, a lot of cases wherein the previous owners 
from a property sold in 2010 and 2012 are still in the 1 and 14 form because the owners have not bothered to update the respective current owners have not updated to have not bothered to update the respective 1 and 14 form and this is creating a lot of issues for them so please make sure that once you have your sales deed registered to go and update on uh, the entire process of sale is completed to go and update the respective 1 and 14 uh, form with your name or the respective or, or with along with your associate or family's name and remove the respective previous owners from the property here you will have here the respective tenants who have been given a legal right in the property will be mentioned. Also any form of uh, encumbrance, uh, dues, debts will also be mentioned in this area. And any form of easement or personal understanding can also be will also be mentioned in this respective area. <coughs> In this case, there is a lease going on for a pawn in this respective person's name and as such, this form of technicality is mentioned over here. So as such, the 1 in 14 form can give you a basic idea of all such activities that are happening within this respective uh, property. So you also get a better understanding. However, the 1 in 14 form is not just the only thing to stick by before you make a decision whether you should purchase or not purchase a property. It is always uh, good to go much deeper into actually analyzing the property and not just depending on this form because you never know there could be some uh, internal understanding or personal understanding between the owners or some misunderstanding going on which can get you into a lot of trouble so as such look at your 1 and 14 form as a basic preliminary research or an analysis to find some form of red flags that could uh, make the property not valuable or not a good investment or uh, yeah this is basically meant for um, keeping, as I said, this is basically meant for as a preliminary paper that spells out the property, the, the, the respective details of the property. However, it is a very important set of paper to understand directly whether or not the property is good and always make sure the name of the occupants and the person trying to sell you the property always matches and nobody's trying to sell you, nobody's pretending to be the respective owner. Having said that, I uh, really hope that uh, you guys enjoyed and understood this respective aspect of the real estate world in Goa. I will also be making a special video for Form D on rural lands in Goa. Thank you so much for your support guys and I look forward to helping you in many other projects. This is Desil Almeida here from Vizzo Real Estate Agency and we look forward to helping you out in any form of real estate based requirement that you may have. Feel free to drop in a call or a text on the respective links below and connect with us and our family and help us help you get your dream home in Goa. Thank you. Having said that